to the day I'm writing this script, Mario Sunshine DS has got a new update, and a new preview video that's just been produced is about Serena Beach. And before I get started, I just want to say I highly recommend you check out part one before or after this video because I'm going to be talking about the other stuff that I didn't mention in part one. And another mention, I recommend you to turn up the quality by clicking the three dots, then press quality, then press higher picture quality, or just uh, advanced. I don't know which one you want because YouTube's been screwing up my quality recently. And I finally just want to say that none of the gameplay on screen is mine. It's all Hellbots. Link in the description if you want to check out his channel. So let's get started. Before I talk about all the new stuff, I want to talk about the things that I didn't add in part one. So let me just speak about what I didn't talk about. One, bike rails in Rico Harbor because I didn't look at the previews. I just talked about the levels that are in version four, which was the only version that I had played. Before I talk about Bike Hills, let's just talk about the game itself. For one, the Tetris have been updated and certainly do look a lot better now. And the health bar has been replaced with the sun like the original Mario Sunshine, and the stars have been replaced with the shines, thankfully. The mini map now displays the stars as shines, and the coins now look like the shine coins in the original. Well, uh, at least the red coins. The uh, yellow coins, regular coins, they look more like the modern ones. And now you've actually got Piantas. And that's really all I could find about the game itself. So, on to Bionic Bills. Number one, the textures have, of course, been fixed. And, well, well, not fixed, so they just look a lot better. And that's really all I could find, honestly. You haven't been updated or anything else on the level that has changed. So, uh, no bosses, no enemies, nothing so far. So for Rico Harbor, now you've got the bloopers instead of the shells. And now you've actually got some custom music for the blooper as well. So uh, take a listen. For blooper servers in Safari, there's been a Pianta now, a rib block, and I'm guessing that spawns another blooper if you for some reason use them all. A pipe if you lose and if you want to try again. And now you can actually get a shine from being in under 51 seconds. Instead of collecting the eight red coins, you can get your shine. There's also a blooper fight. Yeah, what dies up. So all that we really know is that the blooper throws bombs. Uh, my guess is that you pick up the bombs and throw them back at the blooper. But obviously, I don't know. So besides the textures looking so, so much better than the version four and all the other versions uh, that I talked about, there's really nothing else to it. First, I'll speak about Jalapa Beach. Sadly, we don't have much about the Sage, and all we have is the Sandbird demo, and a picture here I'll post it up showing the level. First, I'll talk about the Sandbird. The Sandbird is basically the same as the original, but thankfully it doesn't flip over. You probably won't die. But if you do die, then you go into this box to, to respawn back. But Hailbot said there's going to be absent from the final game, sadly, so if you want to play the Sandbird, then I think you've got to play in this demo. Next, we've got, got the photo that Hailbot posted. In the post, he said that there's going to be red cataplacks, but they're not shown in the picture. The red ones are faster and do damage if they hit you. Now, the blue ones are the complete opposite. The level looks really nice, and if you look closer, you'll see a red coin on top of a tree. So, we'll probably get a red coin mission on top of on the beach itself and not in the water. Well, that's at least from my guess. For all I really know, he could have just put that one red coin there and then still made the cool reef. So, uh, I don't really know. And uh, sadly, that's really all we know about Gelato Beach. It looks like it's going to be pretty accurate to the to the real stage. Aside from it obviously not being a visible regular fire, but hey, maybe it will just make the regu regular regular change the textures, make it bigger, make it faster overall. But hey, that's just my guess. So now let's talk about Pinna Park. For the stage, we don't know too much either, but there actually thankfully has been a preview for Pinna Park. How about it's got the outside section for the piranha plant? I'm guessing that it represents the sunflowers. And the Monty Mole that's usually there shooting bombs from the cannon ain't there, sadly. But this preview I'm showing on screen was made about two to two years ago, going on to three in November. So we'll luckily get an update soon. I can't confirm it, but you likely will. Now the inside of Pin 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 Park looks phenomenal, besides the textures, of course, because two years ago the textures weren't vertex, so I'm not sure. But they likely have been fixed by this one. The only shine that we know of so far is the red cone on the pirate ship shine. The red cone locations are very accurate besides the ones that have been changed. There's only one that's been changed and it's hell by kind of struggled to get it, so I'm not sure. But the red cones are still pretty accurate. Not kind of the ones that I speak of, that I uh, spoke about in the back section. It looks faithful until you figure out that there's a red switch and the objects aren't there. Hamble said that he was gonna wait for us to see what happens, and uh, 
He didn't put it in the video for some reason. Make it so just spawn the objects and climb way up to the shrine. And finally, there's a secret area that you go that you can go to where the Monty Mole usually is. But I doubt that Hale was gonna put it into the final game. And that's just about it for Pinnacle Park. He didn't really show us anything else, so let's move on to the most recent update that we've gotten in Serena Beach. So there's been two previews of this stage. The first preview, as you can see, the textures aren't as nice as the most recent preview that we've got currently. And it's got these maze cave music slash so dry world theme, but I don't really think that he had uh, custom music at the time. But I do know that the newest preview actually did have custom music. There's also a Red Coin Sky right outside. Unlike the uh, Ape Shine the official game, which you obviously don't have to get, that has a Red Coin. There's also booze in the place that in the original are absent from the booze. It's also got vents on the ceiling too. I stepped from my favorite part, part about the stage. It's very confusing seeing as the view is not like an NES Zelda game like the original is. So it's kind of annoying, but as of the two year preview, there doesn't seem to be a shine up there. The casino is how it's always been, but it doesn't really have a purpose uh, as of two years ago, of course. But there is a pipe in the middle of, co of the casino and it does have a regular big boo boss fight but with bombs falling from the sky to add some difficulty to the regular easy boss fight. And that's the two year old preview. So let's talk about the most recent preview that as of the time I'm recording this, uh, just came out yesterday. The soft textures look absolutely amazing. He fixed a few glitches here and there. It was some invisible walls preventing you from going out of bounds, obviously. And all the secret paths go to other areas required to progress. The beds now actually have bouncing collision, so you can obviously bounce along them. <laughs> He changed the design of the boost so that will look more accurate to the original design. The casino has been updated too. There's now NPCs and that's really all about it for uh, Serena Beach. The preview was amazing, I just would have rather that he showed the vents. But likely nothing has changed since then, since uh, originally there was nothing there, so I don't know. So now we're going to talk about Nunky Bay since obviously what I talk about of uh, Serena Beach, that's really it. There's been two previews like Serena Beach. The first one was two years ago and Hailbot showed off the underwater cabin. So let's start there. At, at the time, the entrance wasn't there, but there was a little bowl of water so you can backflip and enter the stage. Keep in mind, this entrance is likely not going to be in the original game, well, in the official ROM hack, if it gets released. So I don't expect for that to be the entrance, obviously. At the time, Nokia Bay wasn't complete. Well, luckily it isn't even done right now. But we've only got two previews so far. And for the walls, before the water wasn't even complete, so you get underwater to the specific spot in the small pool of water. It's very accurate Hailbot said that you can go into the stage in any character, but Hailbot said you might as well just go in there with Wario, Wario because he's got the turbo nozzle. And uh, I don't blame the guy. The rock cones are in very accurate places sometimes. The area is big as hell, so the rock cones are going to be in some really hidden spots. Since it's the uh, final shine Hailbot said, so uh... You know, gotta have some difficulty, of course. So that's it for the underwater cabin. Let's talk about, let's talk about the other review. The new entrance is now actually like the original. Unlike just backflipping into a pool of water, like the other preview, obviously. If you're wondering why there's not vertex coloring or shading, Hibble answered that question in the video and said that the game would keep crashing if you tried to add it. The water doesn't kill you like the original, well, at least instantly. If you pay close attention to the health bar, it drains when Mario is in there for a little bit too long. I'm not entirely sure, but I I don't really know if this level trolls you like the original. Because I saw this one spot that usually trolls you in the original. And it had coins there, so obviously, like I said earlier, I'm not sure. After that, you can actually see a star switch. There's also some moving platforms that help you get up on like the original, where you need to use flood. And you sprint also to collect the water if you run out. And yeah, when I first got the game, I tried to wall jump and where the spot, uh, where the platforms are. And in the original, ball jump just doesn't work. So you pretty much just need to use flip. He moved the deep sea shine to where it originally is, thankfully. So he didn't really move the location of that. But in the preview, he also shows the red coins in the bottom shine. That's the main shine that he shows in the preview. So let's, let's, so let's talk about that for now. He moved the location and said it would have been too similar to put it in there in the same place like the original. And while I agree with him, it's a hard part to find and level unless you don't look at the video. But I digress because this is of course the best Roman hack of all time, so that honestly doesn't matter compared to how much Hamlet has worked on the other parts of the game. 
Hamble said that the red coin locations don't exactly line up perfectly compared to the original, and I honestly see why. I think it would have been pretty hard to line up them perfectly. You had to cheap cheeps into the secret area as well. Sadly, you can't swim like the original game, but honestly, how the heck would you have changed the way I swim? I really don't see a change to that, so it doesn't really matter that much, of course. And that's pretty much it. But the stars he showed of the names were breaking into the king's tomb and the red coins in the bottom. Hey, there was actually two more uh, shines I didn't say. I was only talking about the most recent preview. So look on screen and I'll show you the other shines because I didn't memorize them to say right now. So that's it for Noki Bay. So we don't have that much information about it, but uh, I mean, hey, at least there is about two more main stages and then two other things I'll talk about later. So let's continue on with Pianta Village. The entrance is exactly like the original, but there's two pipes now. One goes into the nighttime version of Pianta Village, and the other one goes in the, to, into the daytime entrance. The first shown takes place in the daytime entrance, but uh, the first shine, uh, you need to be in the nighttime one, but Hellwatch showed the yeah, daytime one, so I'll just talk about the differences between the original to the DS ROM hack while uh, he's there. Since the first shine takes place in the night, you really can't do anything in the daytime. If you select the first shine, shine to start, the bridge doesn't have any ropes on the sides. Well, the ropes didn't really add anything in the original. It just made the uh, bridge look nicer. I do think that uh, since it made it look nicer, I think it would have been a little bit better if uh, the ropes were there. But I'm I honestly, I obviously don't know how much work that takes because I don't make <laughs> I don't make round max. At some point, Hitbot goes onto this platform that has a red coin. I don't think that the red coins have been. Are, are gonna be in the original spot since that one I don't think was there for the uh, eighth shine in Pianta Village. So that red coin shine might be a little bit different from the original. There's now a nozzle box on top of where the flag is usually when you race an Alpantissimo. There's also some other nozzles around the place as well. So now let's talk about the shine. So, because uh, that's really all shit Hailbot shows. Well, the important stuff, at least. Well, besides the other locations of the other nozzles, but who cares? The Chain Shop on Chain Shine is now a Silver Star one. Only updated version of Silver Stars. The Silver Stars are in the are on the back of the Chain Shop. The Chain Shops change or where they are, really. So, you don't really have to spray them or anything like they were. And sadly, that's really all we know about Pianta Village. So, moving on to Corona Mountain. The entrance is still the same, but the stage itself does have a few differences. For one, instead of there being spikes on the platforms, there's now these black and red thwomps. If you go into them, if you go into the thwomps, then uh, you're entirely done. You're just gonna die. There's also raising fire, like, likely to replace the fire that usually just sits there in the original. Because you can't spray the water with your nose. How will also lower the amount of platforms, because if not, it would go over the limitations of the game. To replace the boat, Hellbot added that moving elevator. I'm not sure if it looks harder than the original. I personally think it, did, it does, but it also does take a while. So, uh, it looks harder than the original. But So, uh, don't expect to have a very fun time if you're doing this, but I mean, I'm not sure how annoying it is. So, sadly, that's all the information that we have on the uh, level. There's no boss, sadly. So, yeah, so that's really all the information that we have on YouTube, specifically. That's just about it for Corner Mountain. But we're not done yet. There's two more things I'll speak about. First, I'll speak about the box room. It's not a big wall, it's got a big wall of Luigi statue and 19 shines with black hills and a secret slide stage. The shines are all scattered around the place. And I did play this before my emulator removed it. And for one yeah, that's why I'm not gonna be doing Mario ROM hack videos anymore. And the final thing I'm gonna talk about is the way you supposedly unlock Luigi apparently. It's pretty much an exact replica of the mansion from Luigi's Mansion. The GameCube version, of course. The only reason I know about this is because I was there when the uh, live stream was on. And he streamed it, and I saw it lively. The entrance is apparently just a pipe. I mean, what else would it be? The most fight it to unlock Luigi is really just the same fire as the original Big Boo. And I mean the regular boss fight in the stage that you will unlock Luigi as of 64D, yes. But Big, Boo's, but Big Boo does have a crown on top of his head because, uh, well, he's King Boo. And that's all I've got today, guys. This is a kind of long, I guess you could say, video. 
So make sure to drop a like and subscribe, link in the description for the DS remixes if I use them in this video and the gameplay. If you want to know more about the hack, then join the SM64 DS hacking discord. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description. And with that being said, peace.